Hello everyone, today we learn seismic analysis of building using STAT Pro. Before we start, we learned some definitions like seismic analysis is two types, static analysis and dynamic analysis. What is the difference between these two? By the name, you know the static means it's not depend on the time and dynamic means it's depend on time if you search on google there are many definition or and differences between static and definite and dynamic one more definition if the load generate high acceleration in the structure then we analyze this structure as a dynamic analysis that load may be dead load or live load if dead load generate acceleration in the structure then we analyze that dead load as a dynamic analysis okay example this is a wall and this is a stair or ladder sorry this is a wall and this is a ladder if you climb this ladder this ladder is not vibrate okay little will vibrate or accelerate if you climb on this ladder for your each step ladder is vibrate okay for your dead load because this is tall structure tall ladder we analyze dynamic that's why we say we uh, analyze only tall structures not small structures short structures okay so this is the difference the load that generate acceleration in the structure then we analyze as a dynamic or time dependent okay in dynamics we consider wind load earthquake load sometime live load also in static we consider dead load and live load in static we have method of seismic coefficient method and dynamic we have frequency domain method time domain method in time domain method we have time history analysis and frequency domain have two parts response spectrum analysis and power spectral density analysis. we discuss all this later one more image in this image seismic analysis static and dynamic okay and static we further divide into linear and non-linear and linear methods are these and non-linear method is this. linear means if we use material strength property or capacity after linearity that analysis use is known as non-linear same as in dynamic linear and non-linear linear is response and linear time history and non-linear is time history method these are the methods we discuss later one by one today we only discuss static equ equivalent static method today we discuss equi equivalent static method in static analysis okay let's start hello everyone Welcome to the STAT PRO BASIC to ADVANCED FULL COURSE TUTORIAL SERIES. Let's start. In STAT PRO, one more discussion. In static analysis or equivalent analysis, what we do this, uh, assume this is a building due to its dead load, live load. When earthquake come, the horizontal forces generate we calculate this horizontal forces or lateral force at each floor by equivalent static method okay in this tutorial so first we assume any a simple plan and a tall structure around 10 floors then we start the new project 
space structure name is file name is equivalent static method we choose unit meter and kilo newton first of all uh, very fast we create a model very simple model then we apply supports fix support at the bottom after this we assume some properties for column and beam for this is for column and this is for beam select the column property and select column beam parallel to the y and assign this property and beam property by select beam parallel to x select beam parallel to z sorry again select beam parallel to x select beam parallel to z and apply oh sorry by mistake I um, apply the column property to the beam so what we do we now again apply beam property to beam and this replace ok now check in render view ok done load and definition create dead load live load in dead load we assume self it member load 6 floor load 0 to 30 floor self-weight assigned to view and uh, wall load assigned to all beams in this tutorial we learn how to uh, seismic analysis so that's why we assume all data and assign the assume loads okay we assume udl and floor load and this load in live load we uh, provide a 2.5 live load on hall building this is the analysis all done close and analyze okay in this tutorial we learn how to uh, uh, and how to create a how to create a model in stat pro and analyze seismic analysis and find out the lateral force at each floor and as well as base shear okay after applying load and analysis no error no warning go to the load and definition and go to this definition and click on seismic definition and add after adding seismic definition select here seismic code indian code is 1892 2002 and click on generate in generate he asking the zone we know that our country divided into five zone one two three four and five one and two is merge now we have four zones two three four five okay if you know the zone you should go to the zone and select zone if you don't know the zone you select by the country like Delhi in zone 4 is factor 0 0.24 after that the second is a response reduction factor for sim for movement frame response reduction factor is 5 with choose this default value and next step is important factor means is building is important like hospital dam school where the population or is more than the residence building that's building or important building if we choose important building the factor is 1.5 for general one we choose general soil type is we choose medium 
RC frame damping ratio is 5 damping ratio means it's the property of material that how much energy absorb or how much oxidation reduced by the material the damping ratio is so 5 it means if you accelerate some oxidate some material the 5 percent absorb that oscillation because of the material property okay uh, for concrete this is 5 percent click on generate add and close okay this is the seismic definition after that what we do now the important role of the stat editor we convert this whole building into mass okay as of the sulfate of the building is direction of sulfate is downward the udl we assign to this building in direction is downward and the floor load is downward okay what the difference between force and mass force have direction and mass have no direction if we remove this direction all if we remove all the forces in the building direction of all the forces in the building if we remove the building is converted into mass why we convert this building to mass if we if we create mathematical model of the building we apply lumped mass theory in lumped mass theory means if uh, you see uh, in this building here every point have a mass if we calculate the forces of each mass or apply uh, equation motion of each point is very complex so what we do we apply lumped mass theory we assume all mass at a point concentrate whole mass at a point and that point we calculate the apply the motion, equation of motion like this building we assume this building like this like this continuity this is mass 1 mass 2 it means all slab beam and column load concentrated here and this column is massless okay so this is the total mass of this floor this floor mass of total floor this floor okay for aesthetic indices we assume this modeling so the next step is I'll convert the building into mass so what we do we apply these all loads these all loads copy blow the john copy this loads blow the john and remove the direction this y is direction negative also so the direction if we copy all these forces below the zone and remove these directions then our building convert into mass go to the editor in editor you see this is the seismic definition enter some space this is the seismic definition what we do we copy this load here and copy this live load also here carefully watch this copy this load here and copy this live load also here okay this is seismic definition copy dead load and copy live load the is code says we consider only if the live load is less than or equal to 3 kilonewton per meter square we consider 25 percent of the live load if more than 3 we consider 50 percent so we convert this 2.5 into 20 percent of this load first of all what we do we remove sulfate y and minus direction in member load we reduce remove gy and minus in floor load we remove minus and gy 
in live load we also remove minus and gy also one thing you do member load convert into member weight here also here also okay and convert this 2.5 load into 75% 25% 2.5 into 0.25 it means 0.625 if you want to write here for remembering if you press a star and here 25 percent of live load if you press star and the text is green it means is not the part of the programming okay now save this editing check here in the definition the loads are come or not loads are come okay now what we do create a load case seismic type title is eqx earthquake force in x direction and eqy earthquake fo force in z direction sorry z okay now the method is saying that we the, the method is analyzing first earthquake force then the dead load live load so what we do we move these two load above the dead load means this is the load 1 this is load 2 this is load 3 this is load 4 easily we do this by editor go to editor these are the seismic load what we do we cut this load move this load and paste above the dead load 1 and change it serial number control x cut and paste and change serial number 1 2 3 and the live load is 4 save and check here now click on seismic load x and add seismic load direction is x factor is 1 add close same as in z direction seismic load direction z factor is 1 and close now the last step is analyze this is seismic static or equivalent static method in this method we calculate lateral force horizontal force at each floor and the base here then go to the output and find lateral check the first floor building is from 0 to 3 meter and the horizontal force is what point 165 kilonewton and the base here opposite force is 438.237 now go to the second floor 0 to 6 meter and the floor is total load is 4.66 and the base here is same same as third floor same as fourth floor you see here this is the last floor and the load is 106 and this is the second last floor is 94 the load is large at top and then reduce at each floor that's why this pattern is trapezoidal and the base here is opposite for the sum of t all this lateral force base here so this is the static method why we do this when when you are uh, now you design this structure if you design this structure before this load before this static the design uh, stat pro consider only two loads dead load and live load and provide reinforcement resist to this load but if you now design this same as the previous uh, rcc design now the stat pro provide reinforcement in beam and column for resisting earthquake force also so this is the static force of earthquake if you like this video please share subscribe and like click on bell icon because if you click on bell icon the you get the notification of future videos and after e stat pro we start e tab then revit then sap tecla ansys abacus autodac autocad these are the tutorial series coming soon that's why click on bell icon.
and if you uh, want to more data or you want to file of this tutorial stat profile go to my website www.engineers for civil dot com in this website we upload this stat profile also so thank you